creeping, crawling, wriggling, writhing, pulsating masses of biofilth, riddled with disease, endlessly feeding, endlessly replicating, endlessly disgusting. Let all who repeat the lie that life is beautiful lay their foolish eyes on these tainted creations of a reprobate universe. Get your barf bag ready, because tonight the most stomach-churning pests and vermin will be... <coughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to Deep Fat Fried. How's it going? Everybody feeling that, all right? That was a very guttural intro, TJ. It's the most guttural thing you've ever done. Guttural? Good word, guttural. Scotty. Good word. <laughs> really using that thesaurus I bought you for your fucking birthday, huh? Eh, Scotty? You're forgetting, TJ. I bought you the fucking thesaurus. Dude. I know more words than you, TJ. TJ. Anytime you want to take a vocabulary test, TJ, let me know. All right. Let me know. What up, Paul? Dude. Marx and Engels would have supported this tick, bro. I think so. Yeah. I mean, if the alternative was a bigger, a bigger, more, more tick. scabrous tick, you're right. Yeah, you know, Marx and Engels. Definitely. Marx, fucking Engels, and even the fucking great and all powerful Wizard of Oz. Oh. What? The Wizard of Oz would have done that. He would have fucking, like, honestly, when you look at leftist thought, Marks and Engels, they're fine. They're good. But you know who's the fucking creme de la creme? Wizard of Oz. Father Yellow Brick Road. Father Yellow Brick Road. Yeah, he would have loved this tick. You need to read theory, Paul. 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 Read some fucking yeah, read some bro, theory, bro. bro. What about what about this fucking tick's labor right now? What's the value of this fucking labor, Paul? Huh? You think about what that? Theory of value are you even understanding this tick's labor by? Now, honestly, though, there's the strange thing about this is this, Paul, you're, this is actually not a tick. Okay. Really? Is it yeah, a bed a, bug? It is a bed bug. Oh, that's worse than a tick, Don't though. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Like, a tick at least gives you the chance to see it and knock it off of you. You know what I mean? You know, like, when I was a little kid, yeah, that's true. The bed bug, it attacks when you're sleeping. Comes you at night. You know, and uh, you fucking, you're that old fucking little rhyme, you know? Don't let the bed bugs bite. Good yeah. night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Well, you know, you don't even really have much of a choice. You know, because once back you're in bed and you're asleep, you're vulnerable. I mean, back in the day, not so much like a certainty. It's like, ah, bed bugs. You're going to have to fucking deal with them. See, now and we're like, know, oh, it's a big deal. Bed bugs. Oh. Actually, bed bugs for a long time, you're probably going to cover this, have actually been spreading throughout the U.S., DJ. Mm. So they're actually winning, dude. They're doing good. Bed bugs, Paul, they're doing fantastic right now. Let me tell you. No, sir. Yeah, they're hard to get rid of. Like if, you get, if you get a bed bug infestation, you have a hell of a time getting rid of those fucking sons of bitches. Oh, too. fuck yeah. They're a nightmare. I've never, I've never personally had to deal with the bed bug issue, but, you know, I've, I've known people who have, and it's fucking, it's horrible. I, be I believe someone in Taylor's family did have to deal with bed bugs, and they just said it was a complete and utter fucking nightmare. A lot of times you go to a hotel or something. There's one reason oh, not to stay in a there. shitty hotel. A lot of times you go to a hotel, they have bed bugs. Bed bugs will jump in your fucking luggage. You take those motherfuckers home with you. Now you got bed bugs. Tell you nothing, you get a hotel, TJ, or a little motel. Crabs, boy. Get you stay crabs. in a good place. God, look, I tell you what, boy, you will get crabs all day long. So let me tell you about these motherfuckers. Bed bugs are a species of small, reddish brown, parasitic insects that feed on the blood of humans at night. Basically, little tiny vampires. Fucking assholes, dude. Uh, they're about the size of an apple seed. So, you know, very tiny. They hide in like cracks and crevices in the bed, in box springs, in the headboards, in the head frame, and other objects around the bed. They basically, they have Waking. their little hiding spot where they just wait. They somehow uh, know when your fucking ass is there and asleep. Then they fucking all hop on board and start sucking that blood. So risks uh, of encountering bed bugs increase as you spend time in places with high turnovers of nighttime guests, including hotels, hospitals, prisons, trains, buses, cruise ships, and homeless shelters. So according to a study by the Journal of Economic Entomology, in the past 15 years, there have been a surge in cases of bed bugs across the United States. This guy was just mentioned that a minute ago. 
Uh, the increase is not only related to the increased number of human beings traveling from place to place, but bed bugs uh, are becoming immune to most pesticides. Senior scientist yeah, Michael baby. Hansen, PhD, concluded in his research that the takeaway is that if you want to control these bed bugs, you can't just spray. So actually what a lot of people are now having to do to get rid of bed bugs in their house is they have to do this really expensive shit where they um, they like superheat your house because the bed bugs can't survive over a certain temperature. So they like go in your house, uh, put fucking insulation on all your windows and shit, bring a tube that fucking pumps hot air into your house, heat your house up to like 130 fucking degrees or whatever the fuck, kill Damn. all these fucking bed bugs. Cause that's like like the most reliable way to kill them. Cause like wow. a lot of pesticides, you spray the fucking house, they fucking except still for the, there. Except for the little bed bugs that adapt. Oh, I can survive 130 degrees. Then yeah. I multiply. I'm a little mutant <laughs> bed bug bug that can survive up to 135. And now, you know what I mean? It's just gonna go on and on. We're never gonna beat yeah, the these fucking bugs. Here's Look a at close them. up picture of a bed bug infestation. Oh. Where's that oh, at? Fuck, they're gross. Like where's it? Is it under, up underneath a mattress? Yeah, I, I bet that, that might, is. Yeah, I think that's under the mattress, like on top of the box spring. Yeah, what a flame throw underneath the box dude. spring. <laughs> yeah. You can see their little larva and shit in there. Yeah, they got like a whole like it looks like there's a whole bunch of like. Hold on, dude, I'm gonna full screen this for a second. Yeah, it looks like there's a whole bunch of like little husks and whatnot in there. Like yeah, maybe they like molted there. Shit. Yeah. Dude, and like, oh man, they're all fucking plump and full too. That's the gross thing about them is they're all like, yeah, they've been doing well. All the adults yeah, like, are like yeah. nice and well fed. They're all nice and plump with blood that they've been sucking. Remember that, night. Remember that time uh, we had that hurricane, and uh, you know, I went and stayed over at Paul's house. I actually lifted up his uh, mattress and I took this picture. You know, oh my oh, god, shit. TJ, and you didn't tell me. Well, you know, I figured. Uh, I figured you probably knew. You know? I did, but you didn't tell me, you dirty fuck. And I was like, man, these fucking bed bugs are out of control. Out of control. You're a liar. So yeah, you you literally go to sleep at night, and these fucking things come out of their little hiding spot, crawl all over your body. No, they don't. And start biting yep. you. No, they don't. No, they don't. Come in to visit you, Paul. Dude, so if fuck you, TJ. Enough. This this skeeves you out just as much as it does me, motherfucker. These things bite you. These things crawl on your collarbones at night and probably bite them too. E no, I don't think so. E uh, e e little nibbles of your collarbone, e TJ. Uh, if you are unlucky enough to be infested with bed bugs, these small insects will travel throughout your bed looking for a piece of flesh to bite down on. After the insects get their fill of blood. Your body can have several different reactions. Some develop itchy skin rashes on the location of the bite, while others develop prominent blisters. Give us the pound of flesh. Dude, that's awesome. You know what, TJ? I hope yeah. you get fucking bed bugs. Paul, I don't hope you get bed bugs. Thank TJ, you. TJ, you fucking deserve fucking bed bugs, dude. You actually had a nasty infestation one time. Uh, what, what, what the fuck was it you got infested with? It wasn't bed um, bugs, though. You're weird. Wigs. Yeah, your wigs. Which is actually rare to have an infestation. You have to be as nasty as TJ. Yeah, those are like usually like outdoor insects that people get in their house because they like crawled in from outdoors. They usually don't like set up shop in your house and shit. Well, they did mine. Damn, dude, that is, Here is that's fucking crazy, bro. Here's the ramifications of a bed bug infestation. Yeah, I mean that's you know that's no. Ugh. Yeah, just those, in flame skin and bites. So those are biting you a ton of times. I mean, yeah, and like this, you know, you're One, covered two. in these motherfuckers. They're biting your fucking balls. They're biting yeah. your fucking legs. I've I've, I've looked kind of like this before, but like only when I've gone out and just been chewed up by mosquitoes and not realized it, and then like the next day, you're just like fucking like ah. Like I've had that happen to me oh, a couple yeah. of times, but oh man, dude, to go to bed to go to bed okay and wake up every night with shit like this on you, I couldn't fucking hang, dude. I'd have to fucking throw away everything I own and burn oh, down a, that house nightmare. and build a new one on the ashes. So here's some other repercussions of having bed bugs. Um, some people uh, will feel tired or develop a fever. Uh, the bites of the bed bugs are not known to transmit any diseases. However, complications to the bites may cause vasculitis, 
which is a disorder that destroys blood vessels uh, through inflammation. Um, so you get bit enough times and stuff. You got the wrong reaction. Your uh, blood vessels actually it actually destroys your very blood vessels, uh, deprives um, blood from getting to certain parts of your body where it's needed, could deprive your brain of oxygen, making you feel lethargic. Um, yeah. Damn. Dude, bed bugs are fucking serious business, TJ. Like, well, how did, did you pull? How do they get like, so how do people get infested with these things? Well, like I said, you know, you can pick them up That's at a hotel, know, you can TJ. pick them up at any number of places, and their life cycle, they're very robust, hardy bugs. So here's a long term damage from bed bugs. Oh, dude, no, 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 what no. The fuck? Man, why would you even know, dude? I'd sleep outdoors. No, this this is can- actually an example of uh, vasculitis setting in. You see all these, all this stuff has collapsed. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cause so they, since the insects are, Oh, sorry, Paul, if you want to say, no, something. no, no, go ahead. Uh, so the, the, the reason why these, uh, these bugs are so, pa- I mean, they're very fucking hardy, difficult to kill fucking insects. You know, these, uh, they're very difficult to get rid of. They can survive a year without feeding. They can basically, they don't need to eat for a year and they can still live. The best way to prevent them is to encase your mattress in a protective cover. Another way is to be very cautious while traveling and always check the hotel room, uh, couches and beds for bugs before sleeping in them. Oh. Uh, put luggage in quarantine after returning from a vacation. Uh-huh. Uh, it is suggested to put your clothes uh, in a large chest freezer for four days in order to kill the insects or pull all clothes and stuffed animals into a dryer on high heat. So now- extreme temperatures can kill them. But uh, they won't starve to death even after a year. What is their what is their habitat? Are they from North America? Are they from Asia? Yeah, like, because they call them bed bugs, but there weren't always beds. So what were these things doing before yeah, they like, were beds? You know what I mean? Well, maybe one of these videos will answer the question. I have okay. a couple of videos here. This one's the bed bug life cycle. Explained by this guy here. Oh boy. Well, his mustache makes me think he's definitely an expert. Yeah, I mean, no, no one but an expert could no. possibly have that mustache. They right? don't keep a mustache like that unless you're an expert in something. Let's start with the eggs. They're not microscopic as is often reported, but they're very sm- uh, small. Um, they're very little. They're uh, tiny. <laughs> <laughs> they're very, very, they're very they're small. small. They're very small. They're very small. small. They're very little. <laughs> Diminutive. Uh, uh, Diminutive. Tiny. Um, on minuscule. I mean, uh, uh, <laughs> he just <laughs> leaned into the whole thing. Mine, bro. <laughs> Just pick one, man. I know. They're, uh, they're, they're T90 little things. Here we have T90? a couple of eggs amongst some grains of salt. I actually think it was a, it was supposed to be. Oh, a okay. It was a bit. Uh, it's hard to tell. I couldn't tell. Yeah, it was, okay. Well, we got rused then. Good on you, you yeah. Andy Kaufman look idea. motherfucker. What size they really are. <laughs> they are so small as to be overlooked. Generally, they're white. I mean, so you can see like. You wouldn't notice that motherfucking thing. Like yeah, you see how no. it is. It looks like it's like I a, mean, it, it will like on a mattress. Most mattresses are like that color. So you're not going to notice that shit on your, on your mattress. Uh, but they uh, show up pretty well on a dark background. The eggs are tiny. And the first little stage out of the egg is just as tiny. First instar nymphs can be almost impossible to see. They go through five stages. So a first instar nymph is the first stage out of the egg. A second instar nymph is a little bigger, little bigger yet. Uh, third instar nymph. I am helpless. And apparently pretty stupid. Starting to attain some size. Uh, fourth instar nymphs are bigger yet. The little like fourth blood. In- instar nymph sounds like a fucking porn term for some reason. Little, uh, black smudge you see see in there is actually the remnants of a blood meal in their gut. Mm. Mm. These are adults. Three-eighths of an inch, they're pretty easy to see. This is, uh, this is a cast skin. Bed bugs grow by molting. They cast off a skin. Right. And the bed bug that comes out... So they're going to eat you and then skin. shed. And thus, bed bugs grow stage by stage. Nasty little parasites. <laughs> okay, landing nasty little parasites. 
This man, guy is that dude bizarre. is a weirdo, but man, he knows a lot about some bed bugs right there. Dude, or, right, oh, so don't do this. Oh, man. No, 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 no. Right, this, this is actual footage from Paul. No, 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 no. Come on, Paul. No. This is from your house. Yeah, right the old here. apartment. Oh no! Let's turn it down. We don't really need to. We don't really need to hear it too much. I ain't never seen nothing. No. Mm. Is that their shit everywhere? Is what that's? Yeah, it's just like they're like. Well, it's like all their skins and their shit. Yeah, I mean, like they oh, they drink blood. Nasty, they have to excrete dude. something at the end when uh, they've what, processed it. What nasty ass hey. human being was sleeping in this fucking bed? I don't just know. Give up. And throw uh, this mattress to the fucking fire. Just give just up. Burn this whole way. house to the fucking no ground. No fucking way, dude. No oh, fucking way. Oh, no, dude. No, I can see him crawling, dude. Oh, my God. Destroy this fucking mattress. What are they doing? Sp spray this shit? No. There's nothing you can. Oh, there no. They are. Look at them. Spray this. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, my God. God. Full ass grown God. adults just chilling in there, laying eggs. Oh, yeah, this keep in mind, fucking... this was white. Oh my dude, god, dude, this is fucking disgusting, bro. <laughs> how do you not <laughs> notice this going this. on in your home? Look at that, how fat and fucking some of those are, dude. Full as a motherfucker. They've just been eating every goddamn night for for, for years. Is this dude saying anything? No, they're just fucking looking at this they're shit. Just, oh, he's probably got like a mask on and shit, and like. Oh yeah, I mean you can see he's covered in like a hazmat suit. Yeah, because you you'll get like you said you'll carry these motherfuckers home with you and shit. Yeah. So the dude he's talking to the dude who fucking here you hear that shit? Here I'll play. Let me go back and play that shit. Do you really watch this once a month, or is it longer? <laughs> no, I never watch that. You know? No, I never watch that. You know what kind of dude lives like? I mean, like, just lives with bed bugs, like, crawling all over him. Like, what is the thought process? <laughs> My mattress like, is covered in fucking oh. parasitic bed bugs, man. Oh, man what a bummer, so dude. That's fucking hideous. Oh, man, dude. This is fucking atrocious. Oh, man, don't show me this shit. Don't fucking show me this what? shit. I can't do what's it. Your, I can't do it. What's your plan for this, Paul? What's your plan when this happens? What is that? <laughs> What happened to his feet? Oh Get my there. fucking this god! Brutal. No, no, this no! Brutal, oh, oh man! Oh. I'm like some you would see in a movie. I'm not even kidding. Like this person. 